the, the well-being, the state in which the mother is at the point of conception contributes quite a lot, of course, to physical development of the child, cognitive development, you know, the whole child. And so that's why we are, you know, encouraged that even at the time uh, when you're, you know, planning to have kids, you're, you're in the right state of mind, you know, you're in the right uh, uh, form of health, even physically you're at, the, at your best. And as much as it, we may not be able to control all that, um, uh, it's still important that a lot of effort is put into the well-being of the mother-to-be uh, to just ensure that now when the baby is born, the baby is, the baby is able to perceive the environment uh, right when, you know, right when they are born. So, uh, and, and so I would, I would confidently say that also babies, you know, people, they learn from the environment mm -hmm. and they're able to read vibes, if there's such a word. Yeah. So they're able to, 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 um, uh, to perceive the environment because that is the first place for learning. So the well-being of the mother is easily transferable to the baby. Mm -hmm. So if the mother is stressed, then we'll definitely have a baby who is stressed. And then, of course, a baby who is stressed, that already means that this child is not able to cope or to manage the emotions right from the time they are babies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's really deep. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your adults. Okay. And yeah. Uh -huh. Let me first uh, start by agreeing with what uh, Beryl has said, that uh, character development actually begins and uh, behavior uh, begins at conception because uh, by the time a child is born by the way psychology tells us that uh, they are born with 400 possibilities of uh, what kind of behavior they will adopt and so that's why a child who is even raised without a, a parent will pick something along the way because they are already um, inbuilt with uh, those possibilities and so where parenting comes in is intentional parenting uh, allows uh, the child to be molded in a particular direction that the parent uh, desires or the parent knows. And so um, I would also just like to reiterate, for my case, what I learned was I could not give my children what I did not have. An unhealthy mother cannot raise healthy children. A healthy mother is what ultimately uh, is, able to, uh, is able to raise uh, healthy children. And so in parenting, one of the things uh, that you need to be very intentional about is your own welfare as a parent, your own welfare as a mother, and particularly mothers, because we are the ones who carry these children for nine months. They pick our, our moods, they pick our energy uh, while they're still in the womb. And uh, by the time they are suckling, by the time you're training them, by the time they are growing into nine years old, 13 years old, you're the one who has more interaction with them than their father. Though there are some fathers who have a lot of uh, heavy presence in the lives of their children, which is a good thing. But from where I sit with my adult children, one of the things that I've realized, and even what they do tell me right now, most of the things that I passed down to them were not the things that I necessarily spoke, but the energy that they picked from me. Mm -hmm. Because uh, many parents think that uh, what we tell our children ultimately is what actually molds them into being. But uh, you may tell your child something, but they will pick the energy with which you're speaking to them or with which you're training them, and that is actually who they become. 